Welcome to our Faith, Hope, and Love radio ministry. We are broadcasting from our worship campus located here in the city of Memphis, Tennessee. We are the church where family comes together and everything begins with it is finished. Now please receive our senior pastor and host, Pastor Jeff Galmore. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and greetings to you, Memphis, Tennessee, West Memphis, Arkansas, DeSoto County, and to everyone listening around the world. Welcome to our faith community, Faith, Hope, and Love broadcast here with WAVN The Trend radio station. I'm your host, Pastor Jeff, and I'm blessed to serve as the under-shepherd of Faith Community Church here in the city of Memphis, where we choose to walk by faith and not by sight. We are located at 1444 East Shelby Drive here in the Whitehaven area. You can visit our website at memphisfaith.com or give us a call at 901-474-1700 for more information about our church. I can also be reached via my personal website at jeffgalmore.com. Welcome to the first week of June 2023, which officially brings us to the halfway mark of the year. Uh, June is also the month where we will welcome the beginning of summer. Uh, Our church is certainly praying for all of our children as we are in agreement for a safe and protected summer for all of our communities. Uh, Last month, we concluded our series called The Benefits of Passover. We learned that one of the major benefits of Passover is the activation and initiation of the new covenant. We also learned that this new covenant includes the blessing only with no curse. It also includes that we have been completely released from the law and that the old covenant is now obsolete and that our faith in the finished work of Christ is what makes us holy. Uh, For this month of June, I would like to continue with our current thought as we discuss examples of the new covenant. Uh, I'm of the opinion and persuasion that more than ever before, we as a New Testament church must become familiar with our new covenant rights and walk in them by faith. Uh, So I hope you'll join me for this month of June as we take a look at the high priestly ministry of Jesus Christ, who is the mediator of our new covenant. Amen. Uh, If you're hearing my voice for the first time, my name is Pastor Jeff Galmore. I was born and raised right here in the city of Memphis. I'm a 1986 graduate of Whitehaven High School. I went on to serve in the United States Navy. Uh, Today, I'm a husband, a father. I'm a pastor, a small business owner. I'm also a musician, singer, and songwriter with many ties and relationships throughout this city and even around the world. Uh, Faith Community Church is a church focused on the family. Our vision is healthy families. Our mission is to restore the God-ordained family. Our evangelistic agenda is to build community one healthy household at a time. After more than 30 years of frontline ministry, I'm convinced that the church can no longer expect the world to believe a gospel that does not work for our own families. Uh, To this end, we believe that every seed produces after its own kind. A truly healthy family will produce other healthy families. And soon, we'll have a full community of healthy husbands, wives, sons, and daughters. And of course, all of our teachings are designed with the family unit in mind, as family is always the central focus of everything we teach at Faith Community Church. Uh, Today, we are discussing examples of the New Covenant. I would like to begin with our text for the month, which is found in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 1 through 15. Uh, Verse 1 reads as follows. The first covenant between God and Israel had regulations for worship and a place of worship here on earth. There were two rooms in that tabernacle. In the first room were a lampstand, a table, sacred loaves of bread on the table. The room was called the holy place. Then there was a curtain. And behind the curtain was the second room called the Most Holy Place. In that room 
were a gold incense altar and a wooden chest called the Ark of the Covenant, which was covered with gold on all sides. Inside the ark were a gold jar containing manna, Aaron's staff that sprouted leaves, and the stone tablets of the covenant. Above the ark were the cherubim of divine glory, whose wings stretched out over the ark's cover, the place of atonement. But we cannot explain these things in detail now. When these things were all in one place, the priests regularly entered the first room as they performed their religious duties. But only the high priest ever entered the most holy place, and only once a year. And he always offered blood for his own sins, and for the sins the people had committed in ignorance. By these regulations, the Holy Spirit revealed that the entrance to the most holy place was not freely open, as long as the tabernacle and the system it represented were still in use. This is an illustration pointing to the present time, for the gifts and sacrifices that the priests offer are not able to cleanse the consciousness of the people who bring them, for that old system deals only with food and drink in various cleansing ceremonies, physical regulations that were in effect only until a better system could be established. So Christ has now become the high priest over all the good things that have come. He has entered that greater, more perfect tabernacle in heaven, which was not made by human hands, and is not part of this created world. With his own blood, not the blood of goats and calves, he entered the most holy place once for all time and secured our redemption forever. Under the old system, the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer could cleanse people's bodies from ceremonial impurity. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our consciousness from sinful deeds so that we can worship the living God. For by the power of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. That is why he is the one who mediates a new covenant between God and people so that all who are called can receive the eternal inheritance God has promised them. For Christ died to set them free from the penalty of the sins they had committed under the first covenant. Trent family, can you just say amen? Uh, Today, we are discussing examples of the new covenant. Last month, I mentioned the fact that I'm of the opinion that most Christians still do not fully grasp what the new covenant is all about. I believe most Christians believe and understand that when Jesus died on the cross, he took away our sins or he became the sacrifice for our our sins. And I believe that most Christians understand this to mean that our sin debt has been paid in full. But I'm not sure we fully grasp and understand the meaning of the passage we just read in Hebrews 9 which clearly delineates the differences between the Old Covenant versus the New Covenant. Our text today began by stating that the first covenant was full of rules and regulations for those here on earth. The passage goes on to say in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 7 that under the Old System or the Old Covenant, only the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies once a year on behalf of the people. In other words, under the old covenant, neither you nor I had any right to go before the Father or to experience his presence for ourselves, as this could only be done by the high priest. But if we continue reading the text in verse 11, it explains that now under the new covenant, Jesus has become our high priest and that he entered the holy place with his own blood once for all time, and that because of his sacrifice, we, meaning you and I, can now enter the presence of God on our own any time we choose to do so. Uh, Trend family, today we're talking about examples of the new covenant, and we just identified a major contrast 
between the old versus the new. Under the old covenant, only the high priest could enter the Holy of Holies once a year on behalf of people like you and I. But under the new covenant, Jesus has become our high priest, and we can now enter God's presence by the blood of the Lamb any time we choose to do so. Now tell me, Trend family, which covenant would you rather operate under? I mentioned during our opening that I believe it's more critical than ever that we understand exactly what we have under this new covenant so that we can walk in it and access all of its benefits. As we continue to look at examples of the new covenant, let's continue with Hebrews chapter 9, picking up at verse 23, where the scripture reads, That is why the tabernacle and everything in it, which were copies of things in heaven, had to be purified by the blood of animals. But the real things in heaven had to be purified with far better sacrifices than the blood of animals. For Christ did not enter into a holy place made with human hands, which was only a copy of the true one in heaven. He entered into heaven itself to appear now before God on our behalf. And he did not enter heaven to offer himself again and again like the high priest here on earth, who enters the most holy place year after year with the blood of an animal, if that had been necessary, Christ would have had to die again and again ever since the world began. But now, once for all time, he has appeared at the end of the age to remove sin by his own death as a sacrifice. And just as each person is destined to die once, and after that comes the judgment, so also Christ was offered once for all time as a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. He will come again, not to deal with our sins, but to bring salvation to all who eagerly wait for him. Amen, Trin family. So we can see our second example of the new covenant, which is no more animal sacrifices. In Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 25, The scripture states that the earthly high priest had to sacrifice animals every year in order to enter the most holy place. But now under this new covenant, Jesus has offered himself as a sacrifice once for all time. This means there are no more animal sacrifices under the new covenant. Example number three is found in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 28, where the scripture states that when Christ comes again, he's not coming to deal with our sins, but to bring salvation to all who are eagerly waiting for him. Trinity family, can you say amen? Uh, Today, as we have opened our discussion regarding the examples of the new covenant, so far we have established three examples from Hebrews chapter 9 alone. Again, number one, we can now enter the Holy of Holies on our own without having to wait for a high priest to go in on our behalf. Number two, under the new covenant, there are no more animal sacrifices. This is an example of the old covenant versus the new. And number three, when Christ returns, as a result of the new covenant, he will not come back to deal with our sins but to bring salvation to all who eagerly wait for him. Trin family, Hosea, the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 says that walking in ignorance of our new covenant could be very damaging for our families here on earth. Uh, John chapter 8 and verse 32 says that it's only the knowledge that we know, see, perceive, and understand that makes us free. In other words, it's not enough to give mental assent to the truth of God's word, but rather the truth of the gospel must be alive and actively working in our daily walk of faith in Christ. It is my prayer that as we continue our study for this month of June, that every listener would become more enlightened regarding our new covenant benefits, our new covenant rights in Christ, as we uncover examples of the new covenant. Amen. 
Uh, the prophet Jeremiah said in Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16, your words were found and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by your name, O Lord of hosts. Trin family, may you go this in this week eating the words that we have a new covenant with our Father God. May God confirm the power of his word in your life with signs, miracles, and wonders following you, confirming the word wherever you go. May the seed of the word of God produce a major harvest in your life this coming week in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen today, and I pray something was shared or said that was a blessing to you. I'd like to close each broadcast with prayer and then share some original music with you from yours truly. Uh, Before I pray, I would like to announce that our church has a YouTube channel with over 200 previous broadcasts. You can search my name, Jeff Galmore, or the name of our church, Faith Community Church Memphis, and all previous broadcasts are there for your convenience and review. You may also visit our website at memphisfaith.com. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you for teaching us by the power of your Holy Spirit. And our Father, we receive the message of your word that we have a new covenant and that we are to understand how to walk in and receive the benefits of our new covenant. Father, we pray that the minds of your people listening, that the minds would be enlightened and open to understand this new covenant reality, this new covenant revelation in Jesus' name. Father, as always, we pray for our city, Memphis, Tennessee, and those listening all over the world. Father, we pray this coming week that you would bless your people, that you would protect and cover your people. Thank you, Father, for favor. Thank you, Lord, for health. Thank you for wealth in the name of Jesus. Father, we continue to pray for our children who are out of school for this summer. We pray that you would cover and protect our children, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would stay the hand of the enemy and that our children will live a safe, productive, and prosperous summer in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we continue to believe you for crime to decrease in our city. Thank you, Lord, for a decrease in crime all over this country, but especially here in Memphis, Tennessee. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. It's always a joy to spend a few moments together in the presence of God's word. Again, thank you for praying with me. Uh, Listen, there will be a few words from our announcer. Afterwards, please enjoy some original music from yours truly. I look forward to being with you again next week. Thank you for listening to our Faith, Hope, and Love radio ministry. You can find all previous broadcasts on our YouTube channel by searching Faith Community Church Memphis. If you would like to donate a tax-deductible gift to our ministry, please visit our website at www.memphisfaith.com. Please join us next week for more family-centered teaching. Until then, have a great week, and please remember to keep walking. By faith. This is for those who are not afraid to enter into His presence.
Yesterday, today, still the same For He is good And forever in time He'll be that way Lo, I'm with you always presence there's healing, fullness of joy, come on, for he is good, his love remains the same, for he is good, yesterday, today, he's still the same, for he is good, and forever in time, he'll be Victory 